Hello everyone and welcome back to another weekly gaming news. This week we have a lot of exciting news, so sit down, get your popcorn and tea, and let's go directly to it. The MMORPG called Near Worlds is going to keep its NDA, so after August short testing where everyone who pre-ordered and everyone who's already in alpha can actually test the game on 25 August, they're going to put on the NDA after that again. So after August till spring 2021, we're going to have NDA on New Worlds and we're probably not going to see anything from the game in a half year. A new dungeon crawler called Blightbound had free test for an entire week and it's going to release a spy to play product on 29 July. We got new information on Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. It's basically like a new expansion or even a game. They should pretty much have just called it Fantasy Star Online 3, but in, in, instead they're just gonna call it Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. They also have been explaining how the game is gonna be different from the original one. For example, character growth will not carry over. This include level, experience, skills, fa uh, photon arts, and technique. Currency affecting the game econo economy will not carry over. This includes me Meseta, Fun, ETC. Uh, AC and SG share are shared between both, G uh, both games. AC and SG, not sure what that is. Weapons, units and mage obtained in PSO2 can be used in PSO2 NGS as well. However, their functions, abilities and appearance will temporarily change. So basically, it sounds like New Genesis is going to be kind of new game where you're gonna get new currencies and new growth and new levels and all of that but some things from fantasy star online 2 will be able to trade over the sandbox mmorpg called worm online is finally out on steam after eight years of development in world of warcraft shadowlands you are now able to change gender so if you are for example playing a male human you can now change it to female human for only 46 gold Echo of Souls received a new update. Go to the description for find the link and read the big update for yourself. But it includes a new level cap and much, much more. Spirit Blossom event in League of Legends. The new champion Lilia is finally live and a new event with new game modes like Nexus Splits. And at the end of the event, Yon is also going to be added to the live game. And Riot also did a nice 10 minute cinematic about him. So just for information, Yon is Yasu's brother and he will be added to the game. You can already now find different videos about him and how gameplay is going to be with him. My.com notes over 40% increase in profits from mobile games. So that means mobile gaming is still increasing every year or every month, you can say. So if you're thinking why so a lot of companies are beginning to make more mobile games, well, that's because they get, keep getting more money all the time. Reliance Online will host public beta tests from 10th to 16th August. It's an MMORPG about superheroes. Really little info on, the, on all of the game is right now, but in Jan January we got some gameplay, but the devs have promised social aspect, gathering, career of your hero, job offers and other unusual stuff. The latest update is just around the corner and sees Terra migrate from a 32-bit to a 64-bit client. Massively improving game stability, it also introduced a new raid dungeon for 20 players, an overhaul of the RK9 kennel, plus loads of other changes, all coming at the beginning of August. If you are into Ashes of Creation, well, Asmongold had an interview with Ashes of Creation director, where he got a lot of information about the game and the passion about the game and so on, and you should definitely go and watch that interview if you're really hyped for Ashes of Creation. The mobile and PC crossplay game called V4 is globally released this week, well actually last week, and I actually played it quite a lot but I finally actually uninstalled it myself as I was just getting addicted to it. It's an auto game where your character just runs around and quests and level for you while you can do other stuff around. But I was catching myself doing normal work stuff or work thing or you can say live stuff while playing the game at the same time so I decided to get rid of it as I was beginning to get quite uh, addicted to it. The Japanese god of the moon, Sukuyumi, comes to MOBA Smite. So you know Smite the MOBA where all the gods are fighting. Well, if you are a fan of Japanese gods and also the god of the moon, well, you will be able to play the hero. Sorry if I butchered the name, but I don't really know, but I think it's called Sukuyumi. 
World of Warcraft Europe server Killrock is merging together with Hellfire, so if you're playing on either Killrock or Hellfire, you will probably notice a lot of more people is going to be on the server for very soon. Torchlight 3 gets Faces Dungeon as in-game challenge. It's basically a randomized dungeon system with tier where you can progress in plain and also get plenty of loot. So every time you like complete it in for some kind of a frame, you will be able to reach up in tiers and get even stronger challenges and get even more loot. Final Fantasy XIV free trial is being expanded to include level cap is raised to 60, Heaven Sword through patch 3.56, Dark Knight Astrologian Machinist, Aurora, a Realm Reborn Starter Edition owners are also being upgraded with the above. So that basically means you are able to play approximately half of the game by just having the free trial now. And so if you still haven't tried Final Fantasy XIV the MMORPG, well, there is a good reason now to go and check it out. Albion Online's next expansion called Rise of Avalon is coming 12th August. It will have plenty of new things such as Roads of Avalon, Corrupted Dungeons, Avalonian Weapons, PvE progression rework, new UI changes and much much more. Hashashin, a new class in Black Desert Online has received its awakening trailer. So you can go in the description, find the link and watch the little preview they have of the new class in Black Desert Online called Hashashin. Legends of Runeterra is also getting Spirit Blossom event. It will last from July 22 to August to 19, but you should definitely go to the description, find the link for the event and read about it because there's a lot of new things in this event. Rocket League is going free to play and is actually moving to Epic Games. Though all people who already have installed Rocket League through Steam is still able to play through Steam and will still get updates. But all new players will only be able to play through Epic Games. So if you really want to play Rocket League through Steam, you have to install it now on Steam and basically buy the game. But if you can wait and don't care about Epic Games launcher, well then it will be free to play over Epic Games. The MMORPG called Vindictus is getting a new class on the Europe servers called Letter. It is already out on the other servers, but the Europe is now finally getting the new class called Letter. Champions of Titans and Hack and Slash MMORPG is closing its servers on August 31. Free on Free Freestyle Rebound is a new basketball online game that is recently just launched on Steam. So if you're into basketball and also an online game where you're free versus free, you should definitely try out or watch the game called Free on Free Freestyle Rebound on Steam. Rogue Company started its beta test. It's a game like Valorant, but basically just in third person. When beta finishes, the game will be re will release free to play for everyone. So basically it's a new shooter game where you have to plant the bomb, defend the bomb spots and attack. But the difference between this game and Counter-Strike and Valorant is basically it's third person. It changes the whole game because basically you can sit behind a wall or a box and look over your shoulder and see when the enemy comes. So the combat and the tactics will be much much different. Reinhardt from Overwatch is put into reserve bench as a hot champion, so in unknown future he will land as a champion in Heroes of Storm. So basically the developers is putting on um, on reserve bench, so it's he is in the scope of getting into Heroes of Storm. So if you're a big fan of Reinhardt, well don't worry, he's coming to Heroes of Storm, I guess like soon, and he's probably gonna be a tank. Temtem, the Pokemon-like game, has got a new update with a new island, new Temtems and new skills. They made a nice trailer for it, you can find in the description where they show all the new things. Diablo 3 speedrun to max level is beaten up again, now it's 5 seconds. It was beaten by the YouTuber called Wudiju, I have linked his video in the description. And it's basically a cash percent run. So basically you farm up caches, usually it takes up around 12 hours to get all the caches. Then you drop them all around the ground and then you win a unique item that converts X amount of gold picked up to experience. So you just run through caches and get free experience. And in that way he actually went to, you can say, max level in only 5 seconds. But of course he used before that 12 hours on another character probably to grind all the caches. A new cross-platform mobile PC game that shows quite big budget for a mobile title in Financial Report got a new cinematic. 
The game is called Rise and it's going to be interesting to see how this game is going to be planned out because the budget for this game is really enormous. No dual wielding in Cyberpunk 2077. One of the devs answered a Twitter question about it, so people were kind of wishing for dual wielding with daggers, or double pistols, or anything like that. But the developers have stated that no, it's not going to have dual wielding. And for some reason, a lot of people is getting let down on this. I actually don't understand it because, I mean, I guess it's fine to just have one pistol or dual wielding. But I guess because the game is so big and free, they kind of feel like it was also normal that you should have dual wielding. The next Call of Duty game name has been leaked. It's going to be called Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So basically, we're getting back in old days very old days and going back to the cold war if you ask me personally i actually hate shooting games and you know you can say like in the second war or cold war and so on i, I i'm not really a fan of those old guns but probably there's a big audience for game like that with old guns and you know old themed tanks and all that rockstar has announced that a big update will come to gta online and red dead online so if you still play Grand Theft Auto Online or Red Dead Redemption Online, well, soon a big update will come to both of them. Werewolf the Apocalypse Heart of the Forest Revealed. Explore the myths and monsters of Europe's last primeval wilderness. Play as Maya who arrives in the ancient Bialvosa forest looking to explore her family history. Discover rage in an adventure game inspired by the experience of the legendary tabletop role-playing game Werewolf the Apocalypse. So basically it's a new game where the whole game is basically just art that you have to like go through and choose different options. It's a very interesting new game so you can debate and see the trailer that's running in the background how the game is going to be turned out. Aaron Harvest, a new diesel punk artist, finally something fresh on the artist market, will host open tests on Steam 30 July. So if you're into RTS game, you know, basically strategy games where you build a base and you attack with an army, we are getting finally a new game called Iron Harvest. I kind of miss getting new RTS games and it's very rare we see new RTS games like Starcraft and now Iron Harvest. So I'm kind of punk for Har Har Iron Harvest to see how the game is going to be turned out. And finally, we are at the last topic, and it's going to be about Xbox Game Showcase happened, where they showed a lot of new games. Every game they show will also be able to play through Xbox Game Pass, and I'm gonna leave a link for the uh, leave a link for the whole presentation. Um, also, I'll make a separate video probably about this event and talking more about each of the games. Um, but in totally, they showed new five new game reveals from Xbox Game Studios and ten world premiere games from other studios. Basically, the games they showed us was Halo Infinite, in Infinite, State of Decay 3, Forza Motorsport, Everwild, Tell Me Why, The Outer Worlds, Peril on Gordon, Grounded, A Road. And as Dusk Force, Psychonauts 2, Destiny 2 Beyond Light, Stalker 2, Warhammer 40k, Dark Tide, Tetris Effect, The Gunk, The Medium, Neo Genesis, Fantasy Star Online 2, Crossfire, Fable, and that was actually it. So, if you're hyped about any of these games, you should definitely go and watch Xbox Game Showcase live stream. It took 1 hour and 20 minutes. But it was worth watching. It was a really good show and they showed a lot of nice trailers. And also they actually showed Halo Infinite, the new Halo game that is going to be a co-op game and the big open world campaign where you can be either two cross screen um, playing or you can either be four players online playing the campaign together. But they showed eight minutes of gameplay and it actually looked really, 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 really fun. So thanks everyone for tuning in to this week weekly gaming news. I'm sorry for the delay of one day, but we had 34 topics to talk about in this episode and it just took me a lot of time to make the script and it also took me a lot of time to download all the trailers to show in the background. So that's the thing about the weekly gaming news. It's a show that takes a lot of time to actually create. It requires two persons and also it requires a lot of time with editing and downloading stuff and making scripts but in totally i think we are getting a really fine show and i hope you all enjoyed watching and listening to this news about everything that happened last week i guess we'll see on next monday for next week gaming news where we'll have of course more news about 
upcoming stuff and changes in the world industry. Thanks for watching everyone and have a really lovely week and thanks for watching. Bye.